videos and Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So are you ready to see the most perfect gameplay you have ever seen? Gameplay that made Metal Sonic dude drool. He wishes he could play like that. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, this is not the video for you. You're not seeing any of that here. All right, so anyway, this is Summer of Pain, week one. And as you can see, I chose to go in with Dragon Man. And I'm boosting up. I hate long fights. This fight looks like it's going to be a bit longish. And so I'm trying to find any way to speed things up. Now, that power boost, mystic power boost, I don't think it really did anything. I didn't really notice. Uh, you know, Dragon Man has a passive power gain. And so that was probably a waste. Don't do it. The um, attack boost for mystic may have made some difference. I don't know. Uh, the health boost was just because I had uh, one expiring and the 20% health and attack just because hoping that it will speed things up. Now I'm also running suicides. So my damage is already going to be increased. This dragon man is a rank five. Um, he is not SIG 200. I forget. He's like hundred and something uh, SIG. Uh, but he'll do the job. He will get the job done. All right. So here are the nodes we're going to have to deal with, with rogue. We've got brawl, which is already an annoying node. We have kinetic transference. We've got invade, invade. Look at that invade. In other words, you don't want to parry rogue. You don't want to get hit into the block. In fact, you'd probably be better off getting hit straight. And then in the end, we've got unblockable finale. So a bunch of ones I just do not like. Okay, so we're starting off. We're going to play this stun immune style, meaning no parry. Um, as you see there, I parried anyway. And look at the chunk of health that I lost in parrying. All right, so we're trying to play this with a no parry style. Let that... Uh, power build up, get to that special three as you see. Now, this is the key. You get to a special three, you're going to have an unstoppable. And you're also going to heal up like 85% of the damage done. All right, so you see here, I'm just hitting into her, but you want to evade that. And look at my health. Did you see my health jump back up to 100%? Dragon Man, in my opinion, is the goat for this fight now there are other counters but this one is in my opinion the safest one so you can see here for some reason i keep parrying this happens uh in other fights too like in alliance war oh no no no, no, no. where they have the um stun reflect and i'll dash back but i'll dash back just a little too slow and it will parry instead. And that's what you saw there. So just look at my health. Look at my health. So I'm sitting here looking at this and I've already done like a couple of practice runs. And I'm just like, I don't want to restart again. I'm like, okay, maybe I can just play it like normal, see as far as I can get. Uh, I'm still not 100% why I get the heals. My understanding is that uh, when he's unstoppable and you do a dex, you get a heal. But it doesn't seem like it does it all the time. So what I decided to do was to just play. And don't worry about that. If I have to dex, great. You know, and you can see here. Uh, I am just doing that little rock'em sock'em robots action. You know, it's kind of cool. People have uh, likened it to uh, juggernauts fighting when they both go unstoppable. Uh, but it reminded me of that rock'em sock'em robots, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, Google it. All right, so the basic strategy of this fight is to get to a special three, just cycle special threes. That works great 
because I'm running suicides. I don't want to fire off specials anyway, but since Dragon Man can heal, he can, you know, you can fire his special one and two, but I think the safer play is to fire off special threes. Now you want to, you know, watch out for that special one of hers. Uh, also something that I have noticed, Dragon Man, after a special three, will go. Will get a short unblockable buff. But if your opponent has a special, they are more likely to fire that special off while you have that buff up. So what I do is I don't attack immediately. You'll see me pause a little bit. I might, you know, just hold block for a second, and then I'll attack. Because almost every time I try to just attack straight after the special three, if they had a special one, they fired it. All right, so we're just basically cycling our special threes and we are getting her down. It's gonna take a little bit. And if you see my health, my health has gone up. All right, so uh, I'm not trying to focus on, you know, trying to heal up. What I'm doing is watching and that's how i got hit a couple of times uh in a previous run i was too busy watching the unstoppable timer because i wanted to attack her while i had the unstoppable timer and when it went down i wanted to then cycle a special three uh you want to get as many hits in as possible to help your power gain uh you know go faster all right so you can see here uh you also with dragon man you want to get them in the corner uh you get that cornered and you do a lot more damage all right so the more you can uh corner them the better and then you can see here uh, all i was doing was playing keep away until my power got to uh three bars fire it off okay so the strategy is very straightforward and simple uh i've seen uh, a lot of recommendations for this fight uh she hulk can work just fine i've not tried she hulk but i've seen videos where people uh use she hulk and she works beautifully but you need to know how to space it out uh and and basically play aggressively with she hulk uh but she can work uh of course quake the thing about quake is that if you are a master quake player then Quake can work for you. If you are not a master Quake player, and by master, I mean you don't need to parry. I need to parry when I'm playing Quake. So if you can evade and play with that no hit style, then Quake is your girl, okay? But if you can't, then I would humbly submit that Dragon Man is the best counter for Rogue, for those of us who aren't expert Quake players and uh, maybe not be able to play uh, She-Hulk all that well. All right, but uh, Dragon Man, She-Hulk, and of course Quake work. Uh, I heard that Shang-Chi also works. Uh, I have not tried him either. I'm not quite sure why he works. I, I heard uh, some folks explaining why he was able to get rid of her unstoppable i need to play around with shang chi i like him i like him a lot um and i did a, a quick video on him some time ago but i need to actually look into his different rotations and uh really what he can do but i've heard of people using him now of course if you are good you can use almost anyone uh i saw uh msd uh, Metal Sonic dude who I was uh, messing with earlier. Uh, he did the fight with, I think, a two-star She-Hulk. Okay? So, if you have the skill, you can rock this fight. And don't feel bad if you need to use a revive. You know, it is soloable, obviously, but if you can't solo it, if you need to use a revive or two, do it. It's worth it. You know, just keep going until you get a really good start, you know, and then just revive and finish it out. Uh, another option is Ghost. Now, the thing with 
this particular challenge is that you can only bring one champion. So you're not going to be able to bring the ghost synergies. All right. So you need to be able to play ghost without wasp. Uh, I saw Karate Mike do it. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I will be able to do that. I would need a lot of practice, but Ghost, I have a six star rank three Ghost. She's not awakened. I would probably try it with the five star first and see how it goes. Uh, if I boost it up, it might make this fight really, really, really easy. Okay. Uh, but other people can test that out. Uh, I don't mind boosting. Uh, now, look at my health. This is why I chose Dragon Man. Because he is scrub gameplay friendly. Yes, I just made up that term. Uh, I, I consider him the safest option once you get used to, um, you know, fighting her without parrying. Now, you can parry as long as you have that uh, unstoppable right after uh, the special three, you can parry her. But I found it easier to just stick with one style. I do really bad trying to switch up my styles in the middle of a fight. So if I was playing in a style where I was not parrying, I'm not gonna try to mix it up and parry, you know, when I have the unstoppable, because what'll happen is that I won't notice, the unstoppable will go off, and I'll go for a parry. Uh, one of the attempts, uh, I was down to, I think, 15 or so percent health. And I was like, okay, I fired a special three. And then I said, okay, I'll just uh, parry and I'll be able to heal up. You still take damage. You just heal it back up. So if you don't have enough health to survive the damage, then you will not survive in order to heal it up. All right, so we're coming to the end of the fight. As you can see, she has 2% and boom, she is down. So a uh, longish fight, but a pretty straightforward strategy. Uh, very simple with Dragon Man, but not necessarily that easy. Okay, so that is going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Let me know in the comments below who you used. And how many tries did it take you? Uh, no no shame in it taking a few tries. Uh, later on, I know I'm going to use revives on some of the later weeks of Summer of Pain. All right? So take care, and you all have a blessed day.